went to the charity shop yesterday and I bought some bedding. Um, well, actually I bought bedding and I bought curtains as well. <clears throat> Such a bargain. Sorry about my voice. It's gone. It ran off and now it's slowly making its way back, but it's not fully here yet. Um, so I got this gorgeous duvet cover, which, oh, it came with a pillowcase as well. So it's got... Look, it's got fairies and rabbits and unicorns on one side and then it's got some really lovely um rainbows on the other which is so cute so this and the pillowcase was three pound i think what i'm going to make with it is um some shorts for the five-year-old and for the eight-year-old and i'm going to make some skirts for the five-year-old as well because when i came out of the shop with it she was like Oh, mummy, please, will you make me something with the unicorn side? I was like, of course I will. It was really funny. Even the woman in the charity shop was like, oh, what are you going to make out of this then? <laughs> like, like, I've got a reputation already. So that was great. Um, the other thing I bought were these curtains. Now, I mean, I was so excited about these, but now I'm kind of having doubts. So... Like, it's the lookalike, um, I'm sure it's Kath Kitson who did a, like, cowboy pattern. I might look that up. Um, and so these are a set of curtains in it. They've got lining on the inside, which I've already decided I'm going to use in the girls' bedroom because their um, curtains aren't blackout. And, uh, like, I don't know, is it politically correct to have Native Americans on it anymore? I don't know. I might just have to cut round those or just try and find as much blue as I can. But what I want to make with it is um, some dungarees for the eight year old because she's a bit of a tomboy and all she does is run around all the time. So she can have some forgiving fabric in some forgiving colours <laughs> so that I don't have to wash it as much. Um, but yeah, I was really excited by it. And then when I got it home, I realised, I can't find it now, but I realised that there was like some mould and bits on it. So that's annoying because I paid £5 for the pair, which like is really good value for like this much fabric. But I am going to have to be really resourceful on where I cut and stuff. I also don't have a dungaree pattern for an eight-year-old so I'm going to have to try and hack something together using a bottoms pattern and like I was just thinking like a square and then rounding it off as I as I sort of hack at, hack it if you know what I mean I'll do a video it'll be great see you in a minute Think of my makes pretty awesome right considering it was out of a pair of curtains and some bed sheets awesome um so i absolutely adored the little dungarees i really liked with the with my older girl i did it as a more of like a, a loose fit compared to the five-year-old which was like a bit tight on her little tushy which was really cute but like when she was getting them on she was like Oh, I'm really grateful for these, mum. So that was really funny. Um, I love the tie straps. The only problem is I didn't really think about the five-year-old and the fact that she couldn't tie them herself. But that's fine. We can work on that. Um, the shorts were really cute. Oh, they sweet. And they've got little pockets as well. Um, I got the pattern from... 
who did I get it from? Uh, craftpassion.com. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, that is actually, so these ones are a size 10 to 11, but I really like the loose fit and the, they only do like two sizes. They do 10 to 11 and they do seven to eight and she's nearly nine. And so I just sort of thought, well, I'll go bigger and then use a bit more elastic and it'll be fine. And actually she really likes them because they're really comfy. She doesn't like stuff too tight. Um, and then the dress, which oh, I'm really annoyed because I ironed it this morning and then I got a mark on it. I was like, oh, for God's sake. So that's really irritating. This also, again, love, if I was going to do it differently, I would change the back. I don't even know why I did it really, but I put the straps on in the middle and if I'd have put them on the edge, then it would have, it would hold really nicely. But as it is, she looks like she's got a pair of wings, but she doesn't care. She loves the idea of having a pair of wings. So she's absolutely fine with it. But yeah, the kids love them. I love them. It's all really good. Um, I'm going to put like a sew along or like a tutorial or something on how to like hack at the patterns because the trousers, sorry, the dungarees, I um, used a pattern from, I think it was DIY Crush and they were just the trouser bottoms. And then I just sort of like, like I said, hacked the um, pinafore bit. Um, so I will do like a tutorial on how to, hack that just to sort of get it in the right places and with the dress oh it was a piece of cake it was literally just one massive rectangle and then I measured her waist and made a waistband and then did a couple of pleats got a measured her chest and did four um rectangles of that job done so if you want some more information on that or you want me to do like a video or something, um, let me know in the comments and I'll do one for the dress. But I'm definitely going to do one for the dungarees, which means I'm going to have to go to the charity shop and get some more curtains or some more fabric. What a shame. Anyway, Frugalistas, thank you so much for watching and let me know what you've been making at home with your random off cuts of fabric or upcycling old bed sheets and stuff like that. I would really, really love to hear. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up or something amazing and make sure to check back next week. Thanks guys, bye. Oh, <music>